What's up guys, it's Paris Jordan here. We're at the Angeles Warehouse today. I'm gonna show you how to customize a pair of Air Max 95s. So now with this Air Max, you see it has the leather side panels, the mesh upper, and also like this nylon type of tongue. So we'll be using a few different techniques. So we're gonna try to spice it up today. The first step we get into is prep. Our next step here is to tape up any parts that we are not trying to get paint on. One more area to tape off before I do this sand base, and that's this tongue. I'm gonna be putting a little, little umbrella fixture on this tongue at the very end. So I'm gonna put some tape on there, draw umbrella, and then take it off, and then we'll be ready to start. So basically right now, I'm just making a self-made stencil. So since I am gonna be painting the inside, I wanna remove everything from the inside that could possibly get affected by the paint. So now our next step, the fun step, let's add some paint. I'm gonna add a little duller, just take a little shine off the finish of the paint. And like I said, since we're doing the mesh upper, we wanna add some two soft, and the ratio we kinda of wanna use this is one to one. You wanna use really light coats, you don't wanna to try to cake anything on. And with the too soft, after you get that first coat on, you wanna hit it with the heat gun. The heat gun helps the paint dry faster, but also gives it still that soft texture, makes it still feel like it's mesh or nylon, or whatever soft fabric you're using. And you wanna do about two to three light coats, so it's nice and finished. You don't want to cut any corners. You want to make it look like this whole inside was a tan material and not even paint it. Now that I'm satisfied with the color and the texture of this inside, I'll be hand painting these remaining portions the same sand color. You can add the amount of duller of your choice. Like I said, you only want a drop, maybe two. You wanna paint with really light coats. You don't wanna cake it up at all. So now that we're finally done playing in the sand, we got the base all nice and finished. It's time to add the blue. On the higher white strip is where we're gonna add the light blue. We're gonna mix the light blue straight out of the bottle with a little bit of duller, you know, so we flatten it a little bit, and we're gonna hand paint that. I try to hit my edge first, so I take my time from the start and then fill everything else in after. So now that we've painted the strip of light blue, we're gonna take the pale blue, mix it with some duller, and paint this strip underneath. So now that we've added the pale blue, it's time to add the gift box blue on this stripe up under here. We're gonna mix it straight out the bottle with the duller, paint two or three coats, and it's ready to go. Then we're gonna mix white with just a drop of all these colors so we can get the peak of the wave. So 
So now that you filled in the color for the peak of the wave, you see we still got a little bit of excess around the wave in this back tab that we want to fill in with this play in the sand. So that's my next step, filling in around the wave. Now we're gonna turn these around, take that tape off the tongue, and we can add our umbrella. Along with the duller, you wanna add a little bit of Too Soft as well since we're using the nylon part. So that means we also have to heat set every area. So for the details of the top of the wave where it crashes, I took each of the colors we used in the stripes and gave each wave indent a drop shadow basically. Gave them all a little bit of a definition. Now that we got the paint on, we wanna add the finisher. And today I'm gonna to use the satin acrylic finisher. You can airbrush, you can hand paint, you can use an applicator. And we're only gonna add it to the, the blue parts so to give the water a little shine. Ah, we here. You made it. We untaped them. Got the clean midsole. We've added all the paint. Everything looks good, so now it's time to lace these things up. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch this video and watch us create these. Real excited how, how these came out. Drop a name in the comments, let us know what we should call them. For more updates, make sure you follow Angelus on all their platforms. To check me out, you can follow me at Design Dope on Instagram. And until next time, we're here creating what you can't have. <laughs>